Dylan, so you've been at Playmore for a little while now. How are you finding life here in Devon? I'm really enjoying it. I'm loving it. You know, I've been in now for around five months now and it's just getting better and better really. So I'm enjoying my football and even enjoying off the pitch as well. It's really good. So yeah, loving it. Even though you're here on loan and there are a number of other players that are on loan as well, it does seem that the, the, the whole core of the Talk United side has got stronger and stronger as the weeks have gone by. Is that something you feel as well in, inside the camp? No, definitely. Especially off the pitch. I think we've definitely got closer, you know, especially the lads living in the lodge. There's like seven of us and... Um, we spend a lot of time together off the pitch and I feel like you can see that kind of on the pitch now as well. Everyone's got a stronger bond and you can kind of see that in our recent performances as well. What's that camaraderie like, you know, when you're talking about the lodge and all of that? So you're a you're third distance away from you are at home. It, it, you've described it before and it's almost like having a second family. Can you tell us a little bit about that? No, definitely. You know, it's like a family, family away from home because it's tough being, what, me, like four hours away from home. So... Having them around you, you know, it's good. You know, you've got seven lads, always something going on in the lodge, whether we're watching a movie, playing a game of poker, you know. So, yeah, it's good. And it definitely helps us, I think, being so close. And you obviously look like you're enjoying yourself out on the pitch as well. Obviously, you came into the side predominantly playing on the right wing. You've, you've also played up front. And more recently, you've been playing at wing back. How, how have you found that? I'm, I'm enjoying kind of playing in different positions because I'm learning different parts of the game, you know, learning how to defend more, being in more defensive positions. And for me, it's just like I'll do, I'll play in any position that the gaffer wants, you know, just to help the team win. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it, just playing. And it's not often here at Playmore uh, that we have a, a full international. And, and of course, uh, you're a Sri Lankan international. Tell us a, a bit about that. Yeah, so uh, it's really crazy experience. You know, when I was 18, to get called up, um, going from playing under 18s football to senior football is a crazy step up. And it's definitely helped me um, kind of just learn different parts of my game. Um, having to adapt to different situations depending on the team you're playing against and whatnot. So, yeah, it's only helped me and I really enjoy it, to be fair. Can you name some of the sides that you've been playing with for Sri Lanka? Because I'd imagine that some of these yeah. rounds that you're going are, are going to be pretty big. Yeah, we played, we went to South Korea in the World Cup qualifiers and we played, I think there was like 10,000 fans and played against um, South Korea. So, yeah, probably that's the best team I've played against. And what's what's the main difference, do you think, with, with under-23 footballs and, and coming into the National League? This is your first chance at playing in the National League. Competitive football, when a result is the most important thing on a match day, what are the key differences? Can you explain them to us? I think just, obviously, like every game you want to win, whether you're playing 23s or playing in the National League, but I just think there's more on the line here. And um, if we do lose a game for the 23s, it's, it doesn't mean as much because it's more about development when you're in those stages. But when you're playing, you know, first team football, it's all about getting the three points. So I just say it's more, um, it's more pressure, but it's it's good and I, I enjoy it. So yeah, probably that's the main difference. Also, physically as well, it's a bit tougher. And you've also been getting yourself on the score sheet recently. Have you given yourself a target for the end of the season at all? Um, I don't really set too many targets, like long-term targets. For me, it's just like if I can impact the team with either a goal and assist every game, that's kind of my target. So, yeah, just want to help the team. And an exciting game in store on Saturday in the FA Trophy. Of course, if... if well, I'm trying to get uh, two carried away with ourselves if we are to get a win against Barnes on Saturday. Suddenly only two games away from a, a trip to Wembley Stadium, which is a real prize, uh, which makes it very, very important on Saturday, doesn't it? No, definitely. It's a really important game and all the lads know that. And, you know, it'll be an amazing experience to go to Wembley. So, um, yeah, we've got to just take it game by game. And if we do get to Wembley, it'll be quite a successful season, I think. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Well, Barnet is the next team to be chalked off before we can start thinking about it. Dylan, it's been a pleasure talking to you today and the very best of luck for Sam. Thank you.